If lawmakers don't reach that deal by Friday, it could be bad news for a lot of people, including those trying to buy new homes with government loans. Channel 3's Caitlin Chastain spoke with a mortgage lender to see what they're doing to prepare in case there is another shutdown. Caitlin. Well, Greg Payne helps home buyers get loans. He says buyers who need a USDA government loan can't get one during a shutdown. And even though that's just one of many loan options for a home buyer, he says it could have a big impact on the market. Really what that does is it hurts buyers who are younger, who don't have as much money to put down and are trying to buy their first home. USDA is used a lot by first time home buyers. A USDA loan is a government loan. It helps people trying to buy a house for the first time. But when the government shuts down, so does a buyer's ability to get that loan. Greg Payne, a loan officer, says after the last shutdown, the approval process to get the loan was backed up by about 28 days, creating problems for buyers and sellers. Very frustrating uh, for the borrower. It's very frustrating for the seller because they have a good borrower, they just can't move on and sell their house. Payne says that seller may not be able to buy a house they want because their current home is stuck in limbo, waiting on a USDA loan for a potential buyer. And worse, for buyers using a USDA loan, sellers can back out of a deal if the contract expires during a shutdown. That, and I got a contract this weekend that's USDA, and I'm like, now you know this, this could impact you. Uh, it slows things down. And uh, you just have to be forthcoming with your with your client level now. Like you just heard Payne say, he says as new clients come in, he's warning them about another possible shutdown. He says another long shutdown could hurt the housing market for quite a while. Live in the studio, Caitlin Chastain, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.